We wanted to highlight a couple of new features in VSP that we introduced with version 7.3 in order to support MARSUM protocol. MARSUM has size constraints for buildings and land areas. For structures, the maximum floor area is 100 square meters for class 1 and 1,000 square meters for class 2. For land areas, the maximum size is 2,000 square meters for class 1 and 10,000 square meters for class 2. We've added a tool that allows you to subdivide sample areas to make sure they stay within these constraints. I'll start by demonstrating the partitioning of land areas. I'll use this site map that I've created from the millsite.dxf map. Then I'll choose Edit, Sample Areas, Partition. I need to select the lower left corner of a partition. I'll make it easy by selecting the lower left corner of my sample area. I'll hold the Shift key, then click on the corner to exactly match the point on the map. Now I need to click another point to set the angle of the partitions. Again, I'll hold the Shift key and then click the lower right corner. A dialog appears allowing me to set the size of the partitions. I'll say that these are Class 1 land areas. So I'll set the size to 2,000 square meters. As an alternative, you can set the minimum number of partitions. You can also set the aspect ratio of the new partitions to better match the existing sample area. Click OK to finish the partitioning process. You can see on the layer control that there's a new heading for Area 2 partitions, and the new sample areas are listed under that. The size of the largest partition is 2,000 square meters. To demonstrate how this works in buildings, I'll open the Two Floor Buildings project. And I'll turn off all the rooms except room 40. Again, I'll select Edit, Sample Areas, Partition, and I'll select the lower edge by clicking on the corners. I'll say that this is a Class 1 building area, so I'll set the size to 100 square meters. When I switch to the 3D view, you can see that the room is broken into smaller room pieces. The internal partitions are blanked out with open doors so that we're not introducing new sampling surfaces that don't really exist. Existing doors that straddle partitions, like this one, are split apart and part is put in each of the two partitions. The other new MARSUM support feature is to automatically add the zone class parameter to the sample areas. To do so, select Edit, Sample Areas, Add MARSUM Class Parameters. Now, there's a zone parameter with each sample area, and it can take on the values Class 1, Class 2, Class 3, and not impacted. See video EA400 for more information about user-defined parameters. Mm -hmm.